Unfortunately, the pandemic also uncovered a rare patriotic response in recent memory. The public health crisis mobilized a patriotic consensus on the collective need to contain and treat infectious diseases. The president's rallying national cohesion ignited patriotism. And the private sector response is what today's event represents, demonstrating once again that once we put our minds to it, we will soon discover that we are our own builders and beneficiaries of the Ghana we want. Today is a celebration of Ghanaian ingenuity, patriotism, and a dedication to humanity by a team of men and women, 536 strong, working 24 hours a day to make the impossible a reality. We are here because of you, and Ghana must know you. It is rare to find a group of civilian professionals in close quarters and on strict timelines working 24 hours non-stop with members of the Ghana Armed Forces in their unbending discipline and demand for precision in a flat chain of command. Going forward, our challenge is the management of the facility and how it fits into the big picture of Ghana's CDC. We have a world-class facility and it deserves a world-class management by professionals who understand the uses of the facility as advanced research, teaching, and management of infectious diseases, unencumbered by excessive bureaucratic red tape in management. Ladies and gentlemen, we came here today to celebrate the ingenuity of indigenous Ghanaians in their response to a national emergency. We are proud of the dreamers, the builders, the supervisors, and all those who provided funding so that we can save the lives of Ghanaians. This ultimately is about saving lives. Thank you so much for your attention. God bless you, and God bless our homeland Ghana.